Cooking in the kitchen can be fun. And when I first started cooking as a kid, I thought it was fun. I still thought it was fun when I got my first apartment and then as a newlywed cooking with my hubby, especially that time we learned how to make homemade pasta in Florence. But over time, I've noticed something. Cooking is not always a joy, at least not for me. Add having a kid and food allergies to the mix, along with less and less time, and it really takes the joy out of cooking. And it becomes so difficult when everyone has different food allergies. I have a small family, but that doesn't mean it's fun being a short order chef every single day of the week. My point is, I've been looking for something like sous vide for years. After using this new addition to my kitchen for two months with constant testing, let's talk about what you can expect and what the pros and cons are in my own experience with the sous vide kitchen robot. I ordered my sous vide in June of 2021 and it finally arrived in December of 2021. Granted, this was during a global pandemic with supply shortages for everything, but needless to say, when mine arrived, I was pretty excited. When your sous vide arrives, the company recommends that you let it sit for 24 to 48 hours before opening the box. This is to allow the refrigerant to settle after all the moving that takes place from shipping I let mine sit for a week after bringing the box into the house because we were just that busy. After using and testing the sous vide for two months, I have come to the conclusion that this is not just any kitchen robot. This robot has changed the way my family consumes leftovers, eats well-rounded healthy meals, plans ahead for healthy breakfast, and even eats last minute meals that were not planned in advance. So without further ado, Let's get into the pros and cons in my own experience with the sous vide kitchen robot. Pros. No planning, no problem. Quick cooked meals. This kitchen robot is a game changer when it comes to having to be present while cooking and also quickly and efficiently cooking meals. Sure, your crock pot can cook up something yummy for you while you are away for a long time, but what if you want to eat something straight from the freezer and eat it soon? I've noticed that whether I'm cooking from frozen, which does take a little longer, or thawed, my cook time is much quicker and I don't have to plan ahead for this fantastic meal to go into the crock pot. I pop in the ingredients when I'm ready and usually I'm eating in 30 minutes or less. I also love that I have yet to burn something in this robot. I am famous for burning bacon at my house, and usually that is because I'm trying to do multiple things while the bacon cooks. And then I forget to check it and I burn the bacon. With sous vide, I have a beeper that will go off and let me know when my food is done, but also offer to cook it a little longer if I approve the option. Meals straight from the freezer. As I mentioned in my first pro, you can cook both protein and vegetables straight from frozen in the sous vide. This one is a big one for me. I hate having to thaw food out and make sure it's out of the freezer before the day starts so that we have something to eat for dinner. I have far too many of those days where I didn't plan ahead with our busy schedule and at the last minute find myself grabbing some frozen chicken or shrimp from the freezer and tossing in some frozen cauliflower in the second sous vide pan. Two compartments means well-rounded meals. Gone are the days of cooking up a yummy chicken breast and then going, oh yeah, we need a side. Thanks to the two compartments that can cook simultaneously at different temperatures and lengths of time, you can have your protein and your side all cooked for you at the same time, while your kids set the table. Oh, and as an added bonus, you know exactly what time dinner will be ready, thanks to sous vide's automatic countdown and beeping when it's done cooking. So no guessing and family members should know when to show up to eat because sous vide will tell you when it will be ready. Size. This one could go either way depending on how large your kitchen is and what size cabinets and counter space you have. I have a kitchen with limited counter space, but I also happen to have enough room under my kitchen cabinets that I can safely place this on the end of my kitchen with enough space above the top of the sous vide and room on the side for refilling the water reservoir. Another reason why I say the size is a pro in my book is due to the fact that it is narrower than a traditional microwave, and because of that, I can allow it to live on my countertop. 
You will need to periodically refill the water reservoir, so make sure you place the sous vide in a spot where you can easily access it. Sous vide recommends that you leave at least one inch free above the top of the appliance with four inches free on either side and six inches free from the back. Originally, I was convinced that I would need to purchase a small kitchen island or table to put it on, but I waited to make the decision until I received my sous vide, and I'm so glad that I did. Hopefully the size is a pro for you like it was for me, but make sure you check those measurements. So many cooking options. The options for doing so many different kinds of foods and cooking different ways are yet another reason my family and I love this kitchen robot so much. From sous vide to steaming, slow cooking, reheating, baking, broiling, and even a proof option for activating the yeast in your dough prior to baking. The guide that comes with your sous vide has special temperature and cooking charts and directions for each of those options, so you won't be left in the dark trying to figure out how to cook what you want to eat. Easy cleanup. Both the stainless steel pans and the roasting rack are not only dishwasher safe, but they are also very easy to clean by hand and they are so much easier to clean rather than scrubbing out a big pot or pan. I have washed them in the dishwasher and by hand, and what I find is that they are so easy to clean that I just wash them up quickly and easily by hand after our meal and pop them back into the sous vide so it's all ready to go for the next meal. You can order extra pans and I have yet to do that, but I will definitely do an update in the future on how well the pans hold up over time. Great for feeding just one or up to four adults. During the pandemic, with all of us always at home, we found that oftentimes we ate different things at different times based on work, meetings, and online classes. That meant that all too often, I turned into a short order chef with a kitchen that was always open. One of the benefits of using the sous vide is that my family can now pop in healthier meals instead of those quick options that we were choosing that were more highly processed. And I don't have to really monitor the cooking. At first I had to teach my family how to prep their food, but after they learned the process it was easy and I was so happy that I could gain a little freedom from the kitchen. You can refrigerate for up to 24 hours. This is great, especially for making fresh egg bites that are ready for you first thing in the morning. You can mix everything together, pour them in the egg pan, and set them to be ready for the time you plan on eating your breakfast. The app. Like all modern robots, Suvi does come with an app for your phone. The app has three different functions, a section to order meals, if you have purchased their meal plan, a recipe section, and a place to control your sous vide and set cooking time for both top and bottom zones. This is the same thing you can do from the sous vide unit itself, only this allows you the option to pop the food in and then turn everything on from your phone. This would come in handy if your attention was suddenly needed elsewhere and you didn't have time to stand in front of the robot and make your choices after loading your meal. I should mention that the app also gives you the option to schedule the start of cooking for a later time rather than right at the moment. Customer service. Suvi's customer service was great for the actual kitchen robot itself. Even when nothing was wrong, but we had an issue at the beginning due to user error, they were great and got right back to us. Cons. Scheduling food to refrigerate and then cook is limited due to regulations. So here's the thing. All cook modes can be loaded the night before and refrigerated overnight. The difference is which modes can automatically switch from refrigerating to cooking versus which modes need to be started manually with a push button start. Due to regulations in the industry, any high temperature functions that use broilers, which would include roasting, baking, broiling, and the rapid cook for smart meals, can be loaded the night before remain refrigerated, but cannot begin cooking automatically and just require a human to push cook now to begin the cooking process. Functions that cook using water-based circulation, such as sous vide, slow cook, egg mode, and steam can automatically begin cooking based on your planning ahead and setting that up ahead of time. Meal plan and food allergies. 
When I originally purchased the sous vide, I signed up for their meal plan and checked off the offending allergy ingredients that were listed in their menu options that I didn't want in my meals. Perhaps it was user error, but when the first package of meals arrived, I found all sorts of foods that were not safe for the allergies I had originally listed when signing up for the program. This was very disappointing. It was easy enough to cancel the meals through their website, but after contacting Suvi, they informed us that due to us pausing our meal account after a specific cutoff day and time, they were unable to refund or return our meals. We did receive two meal shipments before we canceled, hoping that perhaps the first one was just a starter and somehow the second meal kit would arrive without the offending allergens we had checked off. But alas, we still received meals that were not allergy friendly. Suvi is still a very new company and my hope is that this is something they are working on and will hopefully fix in the near future. You receive an email every time you use the Suvi Kitchen robot. For some reason, every time you use the Suvi, you receive an email with a feedback survey asking about your experience. It's simple enough to opt out and unsubscribe from this, but it would be great if they gave you the option to opt in to such a thing instead of requiring you to opt out. Tips. When you first look at the sous vide menu, you will notice that you have a plethora of cooking options, but not everything seems to be listed above the dial on the robot interface. Don't worry, it is. Just keep turning the dial on the sous vide and you will find the rest of the cooking options I mentioned earlier. I won't say how long it took for me to figure this out, but at least you won't make this mistake. After eight weeks of using the sous vide kitchen robot, I have to say that I'm really happy with this new addition to my kitchen. Thanks to sous vide, my family and I are eating healthier with less effort. I'm also finding that as chief nutritionist, head chef, and director of dishwashing, I am less stressed from the burdens that these unofficial labels bring to my daily life, and that by itself is worth its weight in gold. At the time of the making of this video, I do not have a special code for you, but if you find a code in the description below, I have been successful and you are in luck. So make sure to check below for a link or code in the description. If this video has helped you in any way, I would love to hear from you. And if you're interested in future reviews like this one or my other videos, please subscribe below. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Essie Flynn.